So hello. I asked on the fuck man. I don't wanna update, okay? <laughs> okay, sorry. So you guys want me to do a tutorial about uh, picking up object with the third person character. So it's actually a lot of YouTube videos made with the first person. But I'm maybe first person who made this first person tutorial. I don't know. Because I, I have never found these first person tutorials in the YouTube. So I thought maybe I do. So yeah, here I am. So let's begin. So basically, I already made the thing over here. This is the cube. Uh, cube. This is that, that cube over here. That cube. Uh, that cube over here. You see? That cube. So, let's uh, watch first here. So, just uh, simple. Uh, this is the. I forgot to. Uh, Uh, this is the widget widget visibility if you see my widget over here so yeah let me show you first okay so so yeah this facing the character you know and you can you can pick up and stuff and do with this okay so uh, just pause the pause the video and uh, copy my notes because I, because I don't want to do all over this because I have one hour to make this so. maybe 15 or 40 minutes I don't know so yeah just copy okay just Post the video and uh, copy the notes. So here, the simple uh, third-person character blueprint, uh, line trace. Uh, I I made a line trace with the object line trace for object. Uh, same same way with the line trace with uh, I don't remember Excel. Line trace with channel the same thing. This is the same thing, but uh, this is uh, with the object because we are picking up the object. Okay. So uh, the yeah, this is the same thing. So you need to make uh, two custom events. For one for pickup object and uh, drop object so yeah so here uh, just drag out that and make 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 uh, make a array and choose choose uh, world static add a, add a branch Add a add a another branch, all right. Drag out from the hit component. Uh, is simulate is simulating physics because we need to we need to make sure it's uh, simulating the object physics. So if it's true, uh, it's uh, if it's if it's if it's true. So you can grab the object. Now target is a physics handle. Just add component and hand handle here. Just type hand and you found it. You 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 don't have to do anything here. Just uh, you need to make uh, one variable called is holding object because we need to make sure 
we are holding it in here So hit uh, component you need to uh, get world location and put it in the grab location right here. Just, uh, this is the distance where you can grab the object. So yeah. So choose your key input. I use the left mouse button, the right mouse button. Sorry. Uh, make a branch, and we are making sure is holding the object. So we are um, if if we are holding the object if we are holding you see if we are holding the object if we are holding we want to drop it no we we we, we want to drop it okay so if it falls, if we are not holding the object, if we are not holding the object, so we want to pick it up, okay? Dropping, hold, uh, dropping uh, object is right here. Drag out the physics handle and release component and uh, drag it in the end and set it and put it right here and uh, leave this unticked because we are not holding the object anymore so we need to make event tick I recommend to use uh, sequence because maybe you have something more in the future here so we can just add more with the event tick you know and yeah so you want to drag out again a physics handle and set target location you know set target location and has object location is the scenes component St this is that and this is the uh, object location when you grab it if you, I, I can show you like I, I, I put it right here did you see look look it's uh, so so far away now no. I can put it here You so you see so yeah if you wanna uh, follow my location or you may wanna meet yourself is the 414 is the location for me I made the 450. So actually, four hundred fifty. So, uh, so you are getting that world location and add it to the here. Is that? Yeah. So we pick up object. Uh, custom event is uh, going to the line trace for object. So yeah, so it's not done yet. You need to, you need to 
click it, make it overlap, make it overlap, collision, no. because it's it's undicked. I show you, it's undicked. You you can't. Oh wait, you can. Okay, it's uh, okay. It's okay. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not. Um, it's not important. I I thought it's important. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, wait. One thing is important here. Ah oh, yeah. Static mesh. Sorry. My bad. Static mesh. Simulate physics. Enable gravity. Gravity. And uh, generate overlap events. Is the important and collision presence is default see wait let me show you if I'm removing the that one right here let me show you what happens you can uh, wait yeah yeah okay uh, okay you can okay it's my bad again well there you go <laughs> Maybe if I wait, if I'm removing this, to, oh yeah, uh, leave it the leave it default. Just leave it default. If it's not working first time, just pick pick that generate overlap events for a second, then you can remove it. So yeah, that's it. For the for that tutorial and go and go pick up some stuff. <laughs> you <coughs> oh, <blood. laughs> Maybe I try to with the spare. You know. Can I pick it? Yeah, yeah. You see, I you see, I can't, I can't pick it up. So collision present is default, is begin overlap. And let me try now. Okay, you're not, you can't. <laughs> oh my bad. Oh uh, you know no no. It's good. It's good. Let me make a cube. The Can I can I pick it up now? I can't. Okay. So yeah, I think it's it for that tutorial today. Sorry, I am nuking. You know. So yeah, that's it, and thanks, and thanks for the watching for this tutorial. I hope I hope it's worked for you. And if it, if it's not, let me know in the comments. I do my best to fix it and things. So yeah, see you in the next next tutorial.